I hate Valentine's Day. And last Valentine's Day, I completely destroyed Jonesy's first date with Fortune. And with Valentine's Day just around the corner, Jonesy's on a new date with Ramirez. But the question is, should we ruin his date? Or should we try to make up for what we did to him last year? Okay, before we get into this video at all, in deciding what to do with Jonesy here, I just want to watch real quick what I did last year to Jonesy. Our date begins with Jonesy casually pulling up to <laughs> Fortune's house. He's feeling confident with his shiny red car. It's sure to impress her. Jonesy finally gets up to the door. Fortune opens the door and invites Jonesy to come in. Ugh. She's not all the way ready yet, and obviously Jonesy's okay with that. <laughs> so while Jonesy awkwardly waits in the house, I sneak up to his car parked in front of her house, jump in the car, and of course I'm not gonna steal it, but I am gonna use up all of his fuel. <laughs> Oh gosh, guys, this is so silly. So now I get out of the car and wait to watch this embarrassment when there's no fuel. When Jonesy realizes what's <laughs> happening, he's devastated. <laughs> but Fortune assures him everything's okay. Uh, so Jonesy walks off to go get some gas at the oh nearby gosh. gas station. But before he can get there, I shoot the local gas station pump and it explodes. <laughs> this is not how Jonesy wanted to start this. Oh, I love his face right here. He blows up the gas station. Oh, it's so ridiculous. They have eventually get on the road and head to the big city. But I turned all of the lights in the city green, creating a huge traffic jam <laughs> and once again causing Jonesy anguish. I got that idea of turning the all the lights green from one of the Die Hard movies where the terrorists make everything green and it just causes mayhem. We finally get to the restaurant and everyone there takes a seat at the exact same moment. They're enjoying <laughs> a lovely time together and waiting for their food while I'm performing a summoning jutsu to summon a giant meteor to fly in and destroy oh, the whole no. city. Jonesy is very put out. Fortune <laughs> recommends they just call it a night. Poor uh, Jonesy. Oh. So I still feel a little bit guilty about just destroying Jonesy's date. And while I know Pelia has a little bit of vendetta against him, I think instead of ruining his date this time, we're gonna save it. Because this time, Jonesy has a bigger problem than Peely. He's gotta deal with ketchup plays. Oh, he's so smug with his sunglasses, all of his ketchup bottles all over his body. The ketchup Ketchup back bling. Ketchup plays is bent on stealing Jonesy's date. Ramirez. Oh yeah, Ketchup plays would love to swoop in and steal the girl. Okay, before we get into the middle of this love triangle, we gotta set up the scene. So after Jonesy's last date and basically destroying his city, Jonesy decided it was time to move somewhere else. Somewhere out in the country. He decided to move to Ohio. Okay, before we get too much further, guys, I asked my Discord server for ideas on this date, and a lot of this comes from them. Some really great ideas here, and I'm gonna implement some of it. The first thing we gotta do is set up Ramirez house. And a lot of the Midwestern United States has farms, so we're gonna make Ramirez's house a farm with like a bunch of wheat fields. So I'm gonna build that out real quick. Okay, so here's where our opening scene's gonna be. This old country road with corn lining the roads. And then Jonesy's gonna take a left up into Ramirez's house. This is her old farm where she grew up. I think this turned out pretty good. I mean, I didn't do anything fancy here. These are just prefab. And a bunch of corn and the road is pretty cool. I liked having the bend in the road so it looks like this is out in the middle of nowhere. But if you fly up, you can see it's really just for a scene. But this is where our characters over here are going to meet. I think I'm gonna make ketchup plays like an old boyfriend or something. And it's just getting really jealous. Okay, now we gotta build our first part of the date. I think Jonesy's learned from having like a boring dinner date. He's gotta impress the girl, especially a country girl. So we're gonna take Ramirez up into the mountains. And uh, I, I know there's no mountains in Ohio, not like real mountains. Like there's some hilly terrain and stuff out there. Just don't get too technical with me here, but we're gonna take them up into the mountains to go four wheeling. But Catch a Plays is gonna be up there and has a dastardly plan for them. So let me just build it out. Okay, here's the setting here. There's a really cool forest with trees all over. I love the mountains off in the distance. It just makes it feel really epic. And there's this dam here that's holding in all of this water. So this is our trailhead here with the quad crashers that they're gonna ride. But I set up a whole bunch of mechanics here with VFX devices, prop movers, prop manipulators, and a series of triggers to create this cinematic experience that I think is pretty cool. Here, let me just show you real fast. Okay, so the dam is going to burst and it's going to leak a little bit and then it's gonna blow up and a wave is gonna come at you, but then I'm not gonna show you how it stops or gets diverted or whatever is gonna happen. You'll have to wait till the end. Okay, at this point, our couple is getting hungry and they want something to eat. So we're gonna make a little uh, town here. I'm gonna have to speed build this. And I definitely don't wanna spend too long on this build, but something fun is gonna happen here. Okay, let me just build it real quick.
Okay, here's my little town. You drive in from here and it has kind of like an old Western field. I don't know why there's a Western feel in Ohio, but it's Ohio. We got the gas station. We got the diner. There's even a pizza shop. And every single one of these places is fully furnished on the interior. I didn't actually do this on purpose. I'm just using prefabs here because I'm just too dang lazy to come in and delete everything. And I'm also too lazy to custom build this whole town by itself. But it's the perfect place for a ketchup place to cause some trouble. What are you doing, ketchup place? What are you doing with that car? All right, time for the final stage of the date. I'm thinking for this one, I want to have a big concert. And we can do this really effectively now because we have the crowd device. But Ketchup Plays knows of an area right around this concert venue where he's been able to get rid of things that he doesn't like. He doesn't understand the power he's playing with. He just knows that it works. Now, I actually get to use the disco gallery here, which I don't think I've ever used in a build. But in case you didn't know, there are a bunch of new pieces in here that we got in the last update that I, I actually didn't cover in the update video. So I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna build out this area really quickly and then it's time for the date. All right, we got our concert venue here. We got our huge crowd. We even got our stage here. I just used a video device as the concert. We got food trucks. We got plenty of porta potties. Well, I don't know if there's actually enough for this size of a crowd. And I love the moon back behind the stage. The little pink haze. Uh, I mean, it just feels really cool. Perfect for this concert here. We even got trash cans you can hide in. Oh my gosh. But the stage is set to finally have our date. Are you ready, Jonesy? Let's go. Our date begins with Jonesy pulling up to Ramirez's country home in his truck. He figures the country girl will like the truck. He knocks on the door to find the girl of his dreams. He hopes this date goes better than the last. The couple's about to leave and Ramirez's jealous ex-boyfriend, Ketcha Plays, shows up. He tries to show off and Jonesy is losing confidence, but Ramirez is having none of it. Ketcha Plays tries to stop them with his electric hawk, but an unknown hero aims to redeem himself and shoots down the bird. Ketcha Plays is not happy one bit, and our couple drives off for their date. Jonesy thinks it'll be fun to go four-wheeling in the mountains. Ramirez is impressed, but Ketchup Plays will stop at nothing, and he blows up the dam, releasing the reservoir. What will our couple do? They're doomed! Luckily, Peely is there, and he quickly performs an earthbending technique and saves the couple! Jonesy doesn't know what's happened, but the couple now heads into town to get something to eat. Ketchup Plays is persistent, though, and recently got his hands on an alien ship! He picks up the couple's truck, but out of nowhere, our hero shows up and scares Ketchup Plays away! Jonesy can't believe his luck, and takes Ramirez to the final destination. An amazing concert! Ketchup Plays goes up to the couple to offer an apology for how he's acted throughout the day and wants to give them a present. He leads them out between two trees where he knows he can get rid of Jonesy for good. But Peely saves the day again and impulses Ketchup Plays in between the two trees and Ketchup Plays disappears. Jonesy sees his hero and maybe understands what has been done. But what has happened to our villain? He no-clipped into the back rooms and is stuck there for all eternity. Karma stinks, Ketchup Plays. The date finally ends and Jonesy couldn't be happier with how things turned out. Peely loves happy endings. 